so let us come with come up with the problem statement for this uh, exercise it's a big uh, exercise or it's a bit complicated exercise and uh, i was incorrect when i say it will take 20 minutes as part of earlier uh, uh, videos it will take at least 40 minutes to complete this exercise uh, in a um, structured manner once you practice it might take a bit less time but in the beginning it will at least take 40 minutes to to complete this exercise and <clears throat> the structure of data is given here so as this is a bit uh, a time taking exercise i will break this down to three parts in the first part i will just preview the data to understand our data depending upon the problem statement in the second part i will come up with a solution using all the apis that are required and as part of the final part i will validate the data okay so that being said uh, so here it the structure is defined the first field is id second field is case number third field is date and so on and so forth there are approximately 20 fields but depending upon the problem statement we just need to extract whatever is required for our solution we can ignore rest of the stuff and what we require we have to interpret the problem statement properly and then based on that we can come up with the solution the problem statement says get monthly count of primary crime type that is the most important thing for each pri primary crime type we have to get the monthly count and then before saving into file system the data has to be sorted by month in ascending order and then number of crimes per type in descending order for that month okay so let's get to the data and see how uh, we can actually um, get the information required for uh, aggregating and then sorting and then saving so for that i am uh, logging into my windows machine and connecting to the lab and launching the session using this spark shell command and first and foremost we will read the data crime data equal to sc dot text file and make sure you copy paste the path so that there will be no typos <coughs> and it will save some time for you so the path is this one public crime csv most of the times uh, the path will be complete but at times you might have to access sub directories also and they will provide that information and you have to come up with the path so let us create this variable called crime data by invoking a c dot text file api and passing the path for for our files as our data is text data we can use this sc dot text file without any issues and hit enter and that information is already provided as part of the problem statement if you look at the problem statement you can see that the file format is text file and the delimiter is comma and also the structure is also given most likely they will give this information or uh, it will be very simple to extract this information one way or the other you will get this information very easily now if you look at crime data let us try to get uh, first 10 records of the crime data crime data dot take of 10 dot for each print ln this will give us preview of our data and you can see there are 10 records printed if you look at the first record it is a header and rest of the stuff you can see this is id this is uh, uh, case number this is the date and this is i think address and this is some other field and then this is the crime type so out of this 20 odd fields we just need this crime type and 
uh, the month from this because I have to aggregate data by month. Okay, so for that we have to uh, apply the map and we have to uh, apply the necessary logic to extract the um, prime uh, crime type and also the month. Okay, so before extracting the month, we need to validate our data so that we understand uh, that uh, the, the way data date is represented is uniform across all the records. So first let us uh, see uh, all our dates and make sure that the way uh, dates are represented in the same manner so that we can come up with the logic. And also if you look at this, this 10 records, there is this record, which is nothing but header, and we have to filter it out. So first let us filter the header, and then let us also uh, validate our dates, and then we will uh, uh, go further and extract the prime uh, uh, type along with the month, and then we will aggregate, we will sort, and we will save. Okay, to filter out the header, what we can do is we can say val header equal to crime data dot first. First, we'll return the first record and we are saving it into header and then val crime data without header equal to. Um, I just need to filter out all the records which are similar uh, to, to our header. If, if there are the headers somewhere else also, I just need to filter out those things. And how can I do that? I can say climb data dot filter. Okay. And for each record which is uh, crime, let's name it as crime. I can say crime not equal to header. Okay, I'll let us name it as criminal record. That is better term. Okay, now if I run this, and paste it. Okay, I have to copy paste this one also. Paste and then apply the filter, and then we can say crime data without header dot take of ten dot for each print ln, and you can see the data now that header is gone. Now what we'll do is we'll extract one record with the variable name called rec and then we will see how we can extract the month as well as uh, the uh, crime type. And before doing that, let us see if there are any dates which are not of this format. First let us understand the format of the date. The date is of this format, DD, sorry, MM, the first two characters in the date which we are seeing is of mm and then slash which is forward slash dd and then forward slash y y y y okay so this is how date is formatted and we will see whether all the dates are of that format or not so to check that we have to extract this part from each of the date and then we can actually do the distinct to get all the dates and we can sort it and we can see whether the data is uh, uh, represented the way we want. Okay, so for that what I will do is, I will write the logic. Well, dates are distinct dates is equal to crime data without headers dot map Again, criminal record, and I want to get the date alone. How to get the date? Uh, this is one string, and we can actually use comma as delimiter and split this entire data. Okay, we can actually 
say like this before actually getting into this we will also do one more thing well rec equal to prime data without header dot first so we are getting the first record okay yeah we get the first record uh, of type string we can say rec dot split by comma which will convert this string into array to extract the date which is the third field i just have to say two and it will give us the date and from this i need to extract this and uh, then uh, we got the date right so i can say rec dot split of two dot again split because it is of type string so we can split by space in this case and then zero if it is if the space is delimited the, uh, the new array which will be created after splitting based on space will be will contain three elements one is the date then uh, time and then the am or pm now you can see we got the date so we'll apply this logic here saying criminal record dot split by comma of two dot split by space of one or of zero which will give us the dates and then i can say dot distinct okay and then i can say collect to convert all the dates into an array and then i can say i think i can say sorted to sort the data let us see if the sorted will work or not paste yeah sorting is working you can see dates are sorted to get uh, individual dates we can say dot for each println and we can get all the uh, all the records let me do this after this let me say distinct dates dot for each println and hit enter you can see here so you can check that all the dates are well formatted uh, are uniformly formatted so now to get the um, <clears throat> month we can extract the year and month month and year combination is uh, month okay and i want to get count by crime type for each month to get the month i need to extract year and then these two digits and also what i need to do is for for each date of uh, the original type once we extract the data we have to convert this date into this format 12 the reason is if dates are represented something like this 12 2007 and uh, let's say the month of uh, december of 2007 is represented like this rather than this and then month of uh, january is represented like this so when you try to sort what will happen this will be considered as a bigger number than this one and uh, you will get the results incorrectly as we have to sort the data by date if we actually transform data like this this will be better so we will transform that uh, months like this and we will uh, apply the sorting logic and all if required we can transform again to the way we want after sorting is done that's a different story so now uh, once we identified that all the dates are of this format we just have to come up with the log logic to convert this into this okay so again taking the first record which is this one 
now if i want to um, extract the month as well as the crime type i have to apply uh, a transformation logic okay and then we have to pass that as part of the math function to convert each record into the uh, into the combination of month and crime type and also we might have to have uh, a placeholder of value one so that we can add those ones to get the count by date per crime or per crime type and we will write that logic as part of the next video our next topic as part of this topic we'll only preview the data and we based upon our understanding of our data we will come up with the logic to apply the necessary transformations uh, for uh, uh, to to represent the data the way we want and also to aggregate and also to sort